Nations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is a subscriber video request slash Simply Earth DIY. Stick with me on this. A couple weeks ago, I had a video request from a subscriber asking me if I had any ideas for inexpensive, budget-friendly wedding favors to accommodate 200 to 250 guests. And so the DIY that I had in mind for this subscriber was a DIY lip balm slash chapstick. These are amazing wedding favors. My brother actually did this at his wedding and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was such an ingenious idea. They are so budget friendly and inexpensive and the best part of it is the more you make, the cheaper it gets. I'll not only be showing you a recipe using the contents in this month's Simply Earth recipe box, but I will also be showing you a recipe that I have been using over the last couple years, items that you can get on Amazon and at your local drugstore. So let's jump into it and let me show you how to make some DIY lip balm. For my first chapstick recipe, I'll be using the contents from my Simply Earth recipe box. Some of Simply Earth's almond oil, some of their coconut oil, beeswax pellets, and their orange blood essential oil, and these empty chapstick containers. To make the chapstick, I'm gonna use the double broiler method. I've got my water going at a rapid boil, and now it's time to add the ingredients. I'm gonna start off by adding two teaspoons of Simply Earth's coconut oil. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the beeswax pellets. And one tablespoon of my carrier oil, which is almond oil. And the essential oil that I'm gonna be using for this is the Blood Orange by Simply Earth. And I'm gonna add eight drops. I'm gonna use a popsicle stick to stir this up. It smells very fragrant. Simply Earth's recipe card calls for lavender in this chapstick. Make this to your liking. It is done. I'm gonna turn my heat off. I'm gonna be using this liquid transfer that I picked up on Amazon. You can find the link to my Amazon store in the description box below where you can find everything that I've bought on Amazon. I use these because I do make chapstick often and they come in really handy and they're easy to use. An alternative to this would be a medicine dripper. I'm going to suck up some of my chapstick oil here. And in my empty chapstick container, I am just going to place the liquid. I've filled up my chapstick. I'm gonna set this aside and let it solidify. You can place these in the refrigerator and they will solidify within 10 to 15 minutes. This recipe here is for those of you who don't subscribe to Simply Earth but would like to make this chapstick. And like I said before, the link to all the items that I've picked up off of Amazon are in the description box below. I'm gonna start off with two teaspoons of coconut oil and the coconut oil I am using for this recipe is the Butcher Boy that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. One tablespoon of these white beeswax pellets that I picked up off of Amazon and one tablespoon of almond oil that I also picked up off of Amazon. I picked up these 100% pure essential oils. It was a starter kit off of Amazon. And the ones I like to use the most in my chapsticks are the peppermint and sweet orange. I choose these scents because I like to add flavor to my chapstick. And the way that I add flavor to my chapstick is by using this candy and baking flavoring that you can get at Michael's. And the flavors that I like are the peppermint and orange. And so today I'll be making peppermint. You can get these candy and baking flavors at Michael's for $2.50 for a two pack when they're on sale. I'm gonna add a couple drops of the peppermint. And because this is for candy and baking, it is edible and can be ingested. I'm gonna add eight drops of peppermint. 
And because I am using 100% pure organic essential oils, this also can be put on your lips with no worries. And boy, oh boy, is this ever fragrant. I love the smell of peppermint chapstick. Now, if you'd like to add color to this, you can very easily add color to this by adding a bit of lipstick. This is an LA Colors lipstick that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I picked up a color that I liked. I'm gonna break off a piece and let it melt into my wax and oils. Adding a color is completely optional and because this is for me and Kayla and Allie, I chose to add a bit of color. And would you look at how pretty that's turned out. Taking my liquid transfer again, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my clear chapstick tubes up that I also picked up off of Amazon or you can recycle your empty chapstick bottles. And look at that, there is just a slight tint to this chapstick. I'm gonna set these in the fridge and let them solidify and I'll meet you back here when they're done. And it is really just as easy and simple as that. It really only takes about 15 minutes to make your own chapstick and look at how cool these turned out. This is the chapstick by Simply Earth. And these pink tinted ones are my non Simply Earth. I love the way these feel on my lips. They work so well. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I show you how I personalize these chapsticks by making an easy DIY label for these. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today. For this subscriber request slash Simply Earth DIY of these lip balm chapsticks. These are so stinking easy to do and so budget friendly. I love them. If you're interested in receiving one of Simply Earth's monthly recipe boxes, you can find the link to my coupon code in the description box below where you will receive a $40 gift card via email after you have ordered your first subscription box. That really is buy your first month, get your second month free. You can't beat it. That link is in the description box below, so make sure to click on it and use it if you're interested. And for the subscriber who requested this, who wishes to remain nameless, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like my idea for a wedding favor. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, have a crafting on a budget, and bye for now.